unbearable vaginal itching. That's the hallmark of a fungal infection. Fungus, thrush, yeast, all of it is fungus in the vagina. Now, it might sound very gross, but that's what it is. And in pregnancy, especially you have pre-diabetic, you have gestational diabetes, or you have PCOS, or type 2 diabetes, you're obese. Generally, with those kind of pictures, you will be at risk of getting recurrent vaginal infection. And sometimes it doesn't go easily. It keeps on coming back. So, so many times patients have come and said to me that no matter what I do, how many times I get treated, just nobody seems to treat me properly. There is something wrong. Everybody is messed up. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Somebody please treat me. And that sort of victimized feeling can happen because of your thoughts and because of the sheer pain that you are in. But fungal infection is treatable. Unfortunately, it comes back. So generally in vagina, if you have too much itching, like once you start feeling that itching, notice that the fungus is starting to grow. Get the suppository. Most of the times it's available over the counter. So get the suppository, especially in India, you will get uh, clindamycin, clotrimazole suppository combinations. Here in UAE, you will get just canistin or just clotrimazole combination. Pharmacists happily give you. They don't ask for a prescription because it is agonizing. Patients just come, go to a pharmacy and ask for it. You put the suppository inside, you can't take oral antifungals in pregnancy. They are very effective, very good in non-pregnancy. But in pregnancy, we are limited with vaginal fungal, uh, antifungals. So it can be a dose of 500 milligram as a very good dose. Just go for it, put it in the night, use a, get yourself a antifungal cream and a steroid cream to control the itching. Sometimes you might need medication to control the itching like antihistamines, allergy medications. All of these things are needed to treat the fungal infection, period. So if you're lucky, it might be really helpful. If you're not, it's gonna come back. And when it comes back, you need to get it again. So please go to your doctor. That's why we exist. When I was in clinical based, like private practice in a clinic, where I didn't see so many high risk patients, half of my patients would be because of fungal infections. It's that common, okay? Second of all, you need to look at what you're eating, seriously. I have so many patients, they have no idea what causes them heartburn. They have no idea what causes them fungal infections. Now, if you don't know what you're eating, which is causing you what it is causing you, keep a food journal. Start writing down what you're ha having so that you start getting aware. Now, when you are in fungal infection right now, full blown, go check what you ate a day before or two days before. And sometimes you might have to do your GTT, you know, in case if it's pending. Don't postpone it. Don't skip it. It could be gestational diabetes. It's very common. So reduce your sugar intake. It's causing you fungal infections. It's like the fungus likes sweet. It's in your blood. It's going to keep on coming back. It's in your boobs sometimes. It comes in the boobs. It's painful. But it is curable.